I will also leave the measurements in the description. Hello everybody and welcome back again. Today I'm going to make a brine for you. For some steak that I have, some beef steak, I am going to put a quick and easy little salty slur together so we can put that meat into it and let it absorb all the salt and all the spices. So let's get started. <laughs> Everybody, today I want to make a brine. I'm going to make a brine for some beef that I want to put to soak. So when I'm ready to barbecue, they will be perfectly seasoned and soften, nice texture and everything. So I am using this ghee bucket. I like to buy ghee like this. It just saved me much more money buying it in these containers and Ghee is very, very, very healthy to cook with, and I bake with it, I cook with it. It's just the best thing to cook with. So, to this, I am going to add one gallon of water that equals to 16 cups of water and one cup of salt. All of the other measurements would be in the description, and you can adjust to suit your taste. So, firstly, let's add the the beef and what am I putting in this I am using a whole garlic I'm going to let this soak in this brine for about 48 hours so you want to make sure it has enough salt I will leave all of the measurements in the video as we go along and also I may put it into the description so the whole garlic some bay leaf ginger i would grate the ginger you don't want to grate it but i just think grating it it will work better that way smoke now this this brine I, have, I got so I am so accustomed making this thing that I don't leave measurements so you wouldn't hear me say a cup of this a teaspoon no so that's why I say I will leave all of the measurements as we go along so I'm putting some smoked paprika you can use um, the plain paprika and also using some white pepper Some cloves, red pepper flakes, and some salt. I mean, it's not corn, corn beef you're making, eh? so don't over put, but you want to make sure you put enough to preserve the meat and to also flavor the meat, all right? Oh, we just had an explosion there, ladies and gentlemen. And some freshly ground black pepper. Go about flavor, 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 and flavor, and more flavor. And you build to your desired taste. Now we're going to add some sugar. This is optional. You don't need to. Again, you're building flavors. You want to now add your water. 
as I said, I am going to add one gallon of water, 16 cups. Because this is how much water this would take. And in cups, 16 cups. As I said, I will put all the correct measurements for that. So, and I just want to make sure everything is covered in the water. You could use parsley, you could use oregano, and you could use all of that. I'm not using all of that in this brine today. I just want to make a simple, easy brine. The ingredients that I wanted to use is, you know, ingredients that I show people would most likely have in their refrigerator or in their cupboards, so they don't need to go out and purchase. So as I mentioned, the bay leaf, don't forget the bay leaf, eh? bay leaf and the clove, the ginger, very important. And also, I want to add some thyme that I just picked from my tree, some thyme and some bandania. All right. So you're going to use this thyme, you're going to use this one. And then I'm going to use some, some bandana, cilantro, I don't know how you would call it. So I'm going to give it a wash and then place it in there. Now this don't have to stay for 48 hours, but I really want it to soak real nice. So that's why I said I'm leaving it for 48 hours in this brine. So I'm sure after those two days, it is perfectly well seasoned. And you want to just be stirring it around in between. You know, every 24 hours, you, you just change it up a little bit, you know. Just mix it around just to make sure all the meat is soaking properly and all that good, goody goodness. All right. So stir that around. And now, you could also use spice. I normally use also um, this thing, cinnamon and nutmeg. I am not using either of those today, All right? So I will just taste just to make sure it has enough salt. It doesn't have enough salt, so I'm going to add a little more. And I say this is that corned beef, right? No, it's not corn beef we're making. But we want to create a nice seasoned water to soak this meat to make sure that it is going to give us some real nice, tender, delicious meat. Whether we're grilling or we are going to do some pants here, whatever you're doing. And I think that is all I'm going to add to this today. It has a lot. I can add some pimento peppers also because I picked so much of peppers from my tree. So I can add some pimento peppers. Not too much. I can add a few. So let's... Alright, so I, I picked some peppers this morning. So I'm just gonna... They are all washed and refrigerated. So I cut them in half. I'm just going to place that in there, add more flavor, you know. Alright, I'm going to cover this and put this in the refrigerator and take this out on the, after the 48 hours and come up with a recipe for you all. So look out for what i make with this beef that i have soaking in this brine and thank you all for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share my videos thank you all for all the love and support but before i go let me just give you a quick view of what it looks like i didn't need to set up a tripod and have two cameras I just wanted to make a simple quick video on how I make my brine so that is why 
you don't have a overhead visual of the brand because I just you know how it is sometimes with the setup all right so let me just show you what the brand looks like after it's all put together and at this point I'm at the end here I'm going to put it in the refrigerator then I decided you know what I want to put some lemon zest then I changed my mind and said I'm not going to add lemon zest I'm just going to add some lemon so that's what I did but you can add the lemon zest or you can add vinegar lime and or just the juice but I added some lemon and I placed it in the refrigerator and in 48 hours I will come back again with an awesome recipe to make the measurements more simple let's say you're using one gallon that would be 16 cups and you want to use one cup of salt and all of the spices and aromatics to your desired taste so thank you all so much for their support and be safe